a Tony Adams goal-saving block, a Burkamp silky skill, or Thierry Henry scoring one of his multiple goals he scored at this famous stadium. Just 15 years ago, where I'm staying was the famous home of Arsenal Football Club. As you can see, this is no longer the case. And today we will explore what happened to this beloved stadium and how this development you see here came to be. For 93 years, from 1913 to 2006, Arsenal Stadium, better known as Highbury Stadium, was the home of Arsenal Football Club. Highbury Stadium has historically gone through notable changes, such in 1932 and 1936, where the East Stand and over here the West Stand were added. As you can see, they still remain here today, incorporated as part of this development. Back in its prime, the stadium was over to have around 60,000 spectators, which is actually the same amount as their new home at the Emirates. But with the changes in the regulations, this stadiums were instructed to have an all-seater stadium by 1993, which reduced the capacity to around 38,000 seats. With such a massive drop in seats, the club's finances must have been heavily affected, and I'm sure this was a major contributing factor to the stadium's eventual demise. So the aforementioned East and West stands are both actually Grade 2 listed buildings, prohibiting any structural changes to the stand. Luckily, the owners had two more stands they could work with. Well, not quite. Around 2000s, the demand for extra capacity in the stadium grew. It was closely surrounded by residential buildings, further preventing any expansions to the stadium. So being out of options to expand the stadium, it was very clear that an upgrade was needed. In the early 2000s, the management proposed a new home for the team, which would be located just 500 metres away and, as mentioned, bring the spectators back up to 60,000. And it would also bring up to Premier League and European competitors, such as the larger stadiums you see at Old Trafford, the New Camp and like. After some delays, the new stadium was completed in 2006, which we now all know as the Emirates Stadium. With their shiny new stadium, there was no need for this hybrid stadium anymore. The site of such an old stadium was just placed on an auction and eventually sold off to create this amazing development known as Highbury Stadium Square. This development was completed in 2010. It includes around 650 flats, a concierge, underground parking, on-site gyms and nurseries. The North Bank and Clock End were demolished, while the older Grade 2 listed buildings in the East and West End remain part of the development and you really feel the character of the previous football stadium that used to be here. So I'm now standing here, which actually used to have been the pitch at Highbury Stadium, which as you can see, they have turned into a fantastic communal space. You've got areas to sit, have a picnic, chill with friends, whatever you want to do. You've got areas where they've landscaped it, made it look really stunning, giving it that character. And even if you walk to water features here and there, again, to continue adding the character to the communal space, such as the marble entrance hall and the bust of the famous Herbert Chapman. The complex has been praised by critics for creating the feeling of openness, as you can see here, but still really protecting the protection and privacy and character that previously was here. So we've discussed the history of the development, we've had a little look around at the outside, now let's head into the North Stand and have a look at one of the apartments. So what do you think of the development? Absolutely steeped in history, Highbury Stadium Square is an incredible conversion while maintaining the historic character of the building really mixes some modern features as you can see from the one bedroom. If you want to see more content like this, please like and subscribe to our channel. I also have one where we explore the Tottenham area and have a look at the incredible new Tottenham development. Thanks so much for watching this video and for more content like this, please like and subscribe to our channel.